Hello, my name is Tom Henney. Today I'm working with the Yasukawa Sigma 2 Servo Amplifier. In this video I am going to be masking the pot knot alarms because I am not using the over travel sensors. I'm going to scroll down a little bit here and show you the step by step guide that I have. First I have the material list where I show you the materials used along with the web address where they are located. In the project description, I simply state that I will be showing you how to mask the pot knot alarm when you are not using the sensors. I'm going to scroll down here a little bit further and I have a caution section stating that you should never use this masking procedure when you are using the sensors to detect over travel because you could have possible damage to machinery along with loss of life and limb. So now with that being said I'm going to scroll down a little bit further here and show you some of the possible causes of this alarm. Now first I have when a sensor for the positive over travel or the negative over travel has detected the over travel. Two, a faulty sensor. Three, shorted wiring. 4. A bad breakout board. 5. A newly installed amplifier because a brand new amplifier comes with the pot knot parameter turned on along with a programming error. Now as I scroll down here I come up to step 1. In step 1 is where I will be showing you how to enter the parameter mode so that we may actually go to the different parameters we need to change here for this particular exercise. And if I come down here to step number two, I show you what parameter that we will start with and this is the positive over travel parameter which is PN50A and if I scroll down here a little bit further in the second part of it I show you how to enter this parameter so that you may start making changes to this parameter and down here in step 3 I show you how to actually make the changes and as I continue scrolling down here I come to the second half of step 3 in step 3 I show you how to save this parameter to the amplifier and I'm going to scroll down here to step 4 and here in step 4 I take you to parameter number 50B which is the parameter for the negative over travel and if I continue scrolling down here I come to step 5 in step 5 I show you how to change the negative over travel parameter and what value to place in there and scroll down here a little bit further I show you how to save that parameter again and also you need to cycle power and when you cycle power as it powers back up you should be in base block which is BB or in run mode depending upon how your system is programmed. Okay what I'd like to do here is show you how to mask the pot knot. So first what we need to do is we need to be in parameter mode. So I'm going to come over here and select the mode set button. Now I'm in function mode and that's parameter mode. Next thing I'm going to do is select the data button here so I can move the flashing digit to the third digit. And I'm going to press it once and that's going to move me to the second one and one more time moves me to the third. Now I'm going to either use the up or down arrows but in this case it's the up arrow to place a 5 in that position. So now I have 500. So now I'm going to press the data button so that I move the flashing digit to the first digit place. So I'm going to press the data button once. Now that I'm in the first digit, 
I want to press the up arrow until that reads A. And that's actually right there. Next, I'm going to press and hold the data button to select this parameter. Now I want to move the flashing digit over to the fourth digit position. So I'm going to press the data button three times. Now that I'm in the fourth digit position, I want to make that digit a number eight. So I'm going to use the up arrow here and select eight. And then I'm going to press, press the mode set button to save that value. Now I'm going to press and hold the data button again and it brings me back to the parameter mode and the next parameter that I want to select is PN50B. So I'll press the up arrow button once. Now that I'm in parameter 50B which is the negative over travel parameter. I'm going to press and hold the data button again. And what I want to do here is make the first digit, which is the flashing three, a number eight. So I'm going to press the up arrow until that reads eight. Then I'm going to press the mode set button again to save this parameter. Once it flashes twice, the parameter has been saved. Now I'm going to press the data button, hold it in again. And that brings me back to the parameter mode. And I'll use the mode set button to come back to the main screen. And you can see that pot knot is still displayed. So now I need to cycle power. Now once I power back up, the pot knot should be gone and I'm in base block. So that's all there is to masking the pot knot. Well that's the end of this video. So if you liked the video or you learned something, let me know, leave a comment. Otherwise, I'll see you next video.